As our hardest hit communities recovery recover from Hurricane Helene's devastating damage, scammers are sadly looking to capitalize. Yeah, they always are. And Verify's Ariane Detil has tips right now to help make sure that you are getting the help you need and that it is legit. Scammers pose as government officials, insurance agencies, contractors, and charities to target people in need of help after a hurricane. They use fraudulent calls, texts, emails, and social media posts to prey on people in need of help. Using these sources, we'll share verified tips on how to spot a scam during hurricane season. If you get a call claiming to be an official from a government agency or somebody asking about an insurance claim or policy, hang up and call the number listed on that government agency's official website or call your insurance agent. Government agencies will not call you. The FCC says you should never reveal any personal information unless you've confirmed you're dealing with a legitimate person or agency. If you're fixing damage to your property, verify that any contractor you're considering is licensed and carries adequate insurance. Never give insurance or other personal information out to companies with whom you have not entered into a contract. Many people wanting to help victims of a storm can also get caught up in scams. If you receive a suspicious email or text message requesting donations or other assistance, do not click on any links or open any attachments. Scammers can use those links to steal your personal information. Only donate to trusted, well-known charities and always verify a charity's legitimacy through its official website. Tripwire says you should avoid cash donations or wire transfers because they're harder to trace and recover if fraud occurs. If you have any doubts on whether a charity is legit, the FCC says you can check with the Better Business Bureau's Wise Giving Alliance, Charity Navigator, and GuideStar. With your Verify, I'm Ariane Till.